Friday morning, the beach is packed. The waters are packed. Dorado, yellowfin, bluefin, yellowtail. Unbelievable. Let's see what we're going to catch. Let's see. Go, Andre, go. Nice job. Wow. There's a bloody jack. All right, Ray. Oh my God. How long? How, just right over here. You run, oh, there was a big patty out there. And I love you. Uh, congratulations, that Thank is you. beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at that. Oh my God, right out of La Jolla. <laughs> and I got my bait going. We should get hooked up. There's no better place to be. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh, oh, mama! Is that a tuna? Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, oh. whoa, whoa. Come on back, mama, come on back. That's it, that's it, keep pulling. Yeah, 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 that's it. I gotta stop this fish. Oh, it just broke me off. Oh! Man, I had to put the pressure on him. Dorado's yellowtail, unbelievable. I got hooked up to a tuna, at least I think it was a tuna. This is Yanni, this is the fisherman's belly. What a great day, I can't wait to go home and cook. fresh Dorado from that insane fishing trip and I'm going to turn it into an upside down fish taco. It's an original of mine and I can't wait to share it with you. So I've got the grill going in the backyard. I've got my jalapeno blistering. I've got some avocados. We're going to make some guacamole. Believe me, this is just going to be an insane dish. Okay, let's get going on this guacamole. Got some fresh ripe avocados here. Bingo. Just use an ordinary tablespoon, scoop them out. Uno. Okay, so I've got four small avocados, but they're nice and ripe, man. And these are Haas, I can tell by the skin. My favorite, actually. Very buttery. Okay, I've got some fresh green onions here, and we're gonna add four stalks. Okay, now we're gonna use some jicama. I love jicama. It's got a crunch like an apple, but it's got a very unique taste, and I love it in guacamole. The first thing I have to do is I actually have to peel the skin off the jicama. I'm gonna use about half of it. There we go. This is a carrot peeler. You gotta take the skin off. Oops, there we go, see that? All right, let me clean this up, and then we'll start to dice this up. I love jicama, it just gives you such a nice little crunch. 
Wow. Okay. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna add two limes. My uh, jalapeno is all blistered up and ready to go, so we'll keep that on standby. Perfect. Look at that. And now I'm gonna take this jalapeno and just cut off the very top, the stem, and the rest of it I'm gonna give it a fine dice. Wow, I wish you guys could smell it. It smells so good. This goes in here. And this will give us a nice little kick. All right, we're going to add some, some cilantro. One of my favorite herbs. All right, that's ready. All right, you guys, I've got about one and a half tablespoons of Mexican oregano. Of course, I'm going to crush it before I put it in here and help activate it. And now for the secret, secret tool, a potato masher. There we go. All right. The guacamole is done. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator. And we're going to get the uh, mahi-mahi or the dorado ready for the grill. All right, you guys, here's the mahi-mahi. And all I'm going to do is add some olive oil. Some salt. Some pepper. Beautiful. And the juice of one lime. Wow, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Jeez. All right, I just want to make sure that it gets coated evenly. So this is ready for the grill. Let's go to the grill and grill these puppies up. All right, gang, our grill is nice and clean. It's fiery hot. It's time to put the mahi-mahi on. Oh, my God. This is only going to take a minute or two on each side. All right, fellas, two minutes on each side and they are done. Take a look at this. Take a look at that. Look at that. Dorado right out of the waters from La Jolla. Can you believe it? Wow, wow, wow. Okay, it's time to get back into the kitchen. So, we've got our Dorado hot off the grill. Let's keep moving. I'm going to add the juice of a lime, some salt and pepper, get the cabbage ready. And oh, by the way, I did tell you guys this is a taco. Although it's an upside down taco, it is a taco. So, I do have some corn tortillas here. And I'm going to show you something very special that we're going to do with this. It's going to blow you away. I guarantee it. Hold on. Alright, so I'm going to add the juice of one lime to this bowl of cut up cabbage, a touch of salt, a touch of pepper, and now I'm going to mix it. Cabbage with fish as opposed to lettuce, I just think it's more traditional. I've never had lettuce with fish in Mexico or Baja or anywhere, and I've been all the way to Guad. That's why I always prefer cabbage with fish. Okay, I told you guys I was going to do something very special with these tortillas. I've got my cast iron skillet going with the hot oil. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. All stacked, one on top of the other. And we're going to cut them into about, I'd say maybe an eighth inch ribbons. Maybe a, little, maybe a close to a quarter inch. Here we go. See what I'm doing? There we go. And then I'm going to drop these into the hot oil. All right, here goes. Testing my oil to make sure it's hot. It looks like it's hot. There we go. Wow. <laughs> my God, you go out, you catch a fish, and then you come home and cook. How much fun is this? Fry them until you get some color on them, and they'll be done. They're done. Look at that. They're done. Oh my God. Look at that. Look at that. Unbelievable. Crunchy. Oh my God. And now it's time for salt. All right, here we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is lay a bed of this cabbage down. Just like that. 
Remember, it's an upside down taco. Grab a piece of this mahi mahi, just like that. Oh my God, look at that, look at that, oh my God. Okay, now, a dollop of this guacamole. Remember our guacamole? I do. Just like that. All right, and then what about our, our tortilla? Bingo. Just like that. There you go, fellas. Straight out of the fisherman's belly and straight into your belly. Feast your eyes on the upside down Dorado taco. There we go.